Hello everyone, I'm Gogi from Gogi.in and you're watching this review of Blue Win HD LTE smartphone. This is a dual SIM handset with 4G LTE support and it's using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 64-bit quad-core processor. Running Windows 8.1 with 1GB RAM and 8GB of internal storage space. Here is the box pack. The specifications are clearly mentioned on the box and inside you will find the handset, Win HD LTE, data cable, Good quality earphone. Here is a closer look at the earplug, quick start guide, warranty information, SAR information, a screen guard, and a silicon back cover for added protection. The travel charger, surprisingly, is not included. This handset supports a 5 inch screen with 720p resolution. As already mentioned, this handset is using the Snapdragon 410 quad core processor, 64 bit. Build quality and the finishing is very good. The body is made up of plastic. This is the black color version. The handset is available in different color options. It looks good and feels good and comfortable to hold. Back panel has got a matte finish and it's soft to touch. Blue Win HD has got a curvy design, slightly curved on the sides. The back panel covers up almost 80% of the handset. Power button, volume rocker are placed on the right side. 3.5mm audio jack and the micro USB port is placed on the top. This is the primary mic at the bottom and there is a secondary mic on the rear side. The back cover can be removed. It is soft to touch and made up of plastic. Here is the speaker out vent next to the 4G LTE logo. Here is the 8 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash. This handset comes with built-in battery. The SAR values are clearly mentioned here. The battery is of 2500mAh capacity. This is a dual SIM handset. This is SIM slot 1, micro SIM. This is the micro SD card slot and this is SIM 2, again a micro SIM. I have switched on the handset and uh, SIM 1 supports 4G. I'm going to switch to SIM 2 and SIM 2 also supports 4G. You can use 4G on any of the SIM slot. Weight with battery is 143 grams and it is 9.07 mm thick. It is running Windows 8.1 out of the box. Color reproduction is good. Touch is smooth and responsive. Even the viewing angles are good. Cortana will not work if you have set the language to English, India. There's built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. GPS lock is pretty fast and works indoors too. You can also download the maps for offline navigation. The dedicated navigation buttons do light up. There is 1GB RAM and 8GB of internal storage space. Of the 8GB, you'll get around 4GB free space. There is Hindi language option. You can use the Find My Phone option to ring, lock, erase or locate your phone in case your smartphone gets lost or stolen. You can also use the Kids Corner. Enable it before handling it to your kid. OTG does not work. As you can see, I am not able to access the contents of the OTG pen drive. When you connect the smartphone to the charger, the red LED glows up but it's barely visible. And now let's move on to the camera. This is an autofocus camera and here is the camera interface. And here are the different scene options. You can use lenses and download more lenses if required. Rear camera is 8 megapixel. It can shoot full HD videos. Front camera is 2 megapixel. For sample images and videos, do visit my website. This handset is running Windows 8.1 update 2. The time is 11.19, battery at 75%. I'm running N22 benchmark. The score is 12927. This handset supports 5-point multi-touch. As you can see here, it's 5-point. Screen resolution is 1280 by 720 pixels. 1GB RAM, 8GB storage. After 6 minutes, the battery dropped by 2%. I'm going to play the Asphalt 8 game. I'm going to download it. The battery is at 66%. The game is set to the medium visual quality and I'm going to play in this mode. The gameplay is very smooth, lag free and the graphics also looks pretty good. I played this game for about 16 minutes. The battery dropped by 8% and the heat up looks normal. It's not really that hot. It is a bit warm on the rear side. The Blue Win HD LTE is a powerful handset that does a pretty good job. It is running Windows 8.1 and it will get the Windows 10 update. Camera quality is okay, not really that great. Battery backup is also okay, 
not really that great. You can expect about 2 to 5 hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage. Battery charging time is also pretty disappointing. It took me around 5 hours 30 minutes to charge from 7% to 100%. For mixed usage, you can easily expect one day of battery backup. If you are a hardcore Android user, stay away from this phone. Blue Jiao, I mean Bhul Jiao. This handset was available for Rs 4,999, but as of now, it is priced at Rs 5,999. I'm not sure what changes Windows 10 will bring about, but let's hope for the best.